So let's talk about walls. That's probably the biggest issue for people who want to paint murals or graffitis. We almost always need walls to work on and those walls are pretty hard to come by most of the time. If you've got room and the resources, you can build yourself your own private little wall. I've done it myself last year. I was lucky enough to have a good sized backyard, so there was enough room to set up a small wall. I'm on top of one of the buildings here at the old factory right now and it's pretty cool to go around here and explore new areas, new roofs and I don't know, there's something quite fascinating about it. It's crazy to think that we've got this entire place to, to ourselves pretty much. We were pretty lucky to have the owner of this old abandoned factory give us permission to paint here wherever we want and whatever we want. I mean, come on, can you ask for any better? When we had our first little stroll around the area to, to just check out the place with the owner, we found this one nasty big wall and we agreed to paint this wall just for the owner. It's a little bit of a thank you gesture, if you will. And when I say we, I'm talking about myself and the one and only Mr. Smonova. All right. Let's get painting. But before we can actually start painting on that wall, we got to do some gardening here. I would say you can fill the wall up until here, completely in dark. Um, and I, I will fill uh, this area in white. in white. And then we will start mixing the colors a little bit. remember the first wall you ever painted on? Uh, the first real wall, like a concrete wall, was mm -hmm. one of the legal spots in Münster. And um, I always had to drive there with the car and it was pretty annoying. And um, this is why I tried to get own free walls. And how did you go about it? How did you do it? Uh, the first the first one was more a coincidence. I was painting at my school. Um, then we That's had the where actually where I saw you paint the first time. Yes. That's when I started painting graffiti. That was the exact You, you wanted you wanted to go to the school, right? No, I was at the school. I you was were in at fifth school, or right? sixth grade and I saw you painting this big style. A big style? I was yeah. painting for the name of our school. Ah, okay. And little ladybugs you were painting. Yes, I remember the ladybugs. Yeah, and this day, this day, this was the day of the open door where all the parents exactly. with their children c come to the school to visit it and to uh, check out if this school might be the right school for their chi yeah. children, uh, for their education. When I was painting there, <laughs> probably a very good advertisement for the school, like, hey, we're <laughs> doing graffiti here. <laughs> And I was painting the ladybugs, and uh, then there was one of the fathers um, um, who was visiting the school. He asked me um, that, that he has a, a, a big wall that always gets tagged, and they're so annoyed that they always have to paint over it. Right. And um, he asked me if I would not like to paint there something what I want. Yeah. And I said, really? He said, yes, yes, do it. And suddenly I had my own wall in public, pretty close to the school, and uh, yeah, this was this was the starting point for everything. Be before that, it was all just like uh, a hobby. And then I was uh, at, I was painting there, and the people uh, stopped 
with their cars and they said oh finally we see somebody who's doing this can you paint my garage door can you paint my kids room yeah and then you build your own wooden backyard garden wall yeah, to this, paint on this was this was always a dream for me uh, I, I wanted to have such a wall uh, really close to my house close to the storage without a lot of preparation time i hate preparation time i hate mm. driving somewhere mm. i want to paint and i have so much struggle and so much uh, um, parts of my brains are in use just to paint and to, to prepare myself for the painting process that all the the traveling and stuff it is just annoying it's extra work that is not that necessary and this is why i always wanted to have such a uh, a garden wall and i've built it uh, already three years or four years ago in my in my garden we painted that two yeah. times already but even and, and this is this is super funny and now i enjoy it so much more to uh, paint in the factory because i'm not at home mm -hmm. and my wife can't say okay i will go shopping now and you take care for the children while you're painting and um, i like it more to paint here and I like it more not to see my art the whole time. I think it's, it's, it's more fun to leave, to leave the artwork and not to cover it one year later. Maybe to cover it after five years when it look, looks ugly, but when it still looks good, why do you need to cover it? Just because of limited walls. This is stupid. Yeah. And this is why I was always... Uh, trying to get more walls i didn't see it coming that we get such a super big opportunity like this uh, yeah. factory place here this is it's just insane that's crazy and we can paint we can paint the whole year uh, new walls here we yeah. don't have to cover anything because there are so many clean yeah. walls you can easily paint 200 or 300 different uh, artworks over here yeah like if you just they, 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 if they are not that big like we are painting right now, but yeah. if you just do maybe a, a, a six square meters uh, artwork, maybe just a portrait or um, an, an optical illusion or stuff, I want to try out stuff here because this is the first time that I don't have um, a wall in public where I have to take care that everything is clean. What do you think about the final result? It looks it looks kind of epic and also a lot of peaceful. Because we need more peace in this world, especially uh, now, nowadays. And more flowers and um, yeah, it's it's um, I think I think we, we really worked well together because you are um, always painting this traveling guys and you're right. you're the traveler who travels into the light into the future into a bright future that is peaceful and colorful and that sounds um, good I can work with that I, I would call this um, travel to the dream of peace yeah a final word about legal walls if you need a permission approval text go to my website go to small's website he has a nine in, uh, in the, the approval text in nine different languages so in nine different <laughs> languages so if you need one of those forms go there get it signed by the owner of the wall and Okay, You'll be good to yeah. go. Exactly. Get your own permission. <laughs> Vlogging with a two kilo heavy camera. Smart. Pretty it's smart. my second name. <laughs> Nick Smart Moody. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to him because this is not the last of our collaborations. Because tomorrow we will do a collaboration together with this guy in the background as well. He um, traveled today 650 kilometers in just four hours. Okay, don't forget to follow and subscribe. See you next time. <laughs>